Hey everyone, Adam here. So I really just want to do a quick video on a, my iPad Mini 2. So you may notice right here, um, in kind of the right area, you can see that um, I actually cracked my iPad. So that kind of sucks. So I was like, what am I going to do? Because I can't really, you know, it's not really fun to use a, you know, damaged iPad. So what I decided to do, I'm selling this iPad and getting a new one. And I'm going to tell you which one that I got. Um, so yeah, you could see um, there's a crack right there. And so I'm selling this iPad for $61, which is actually pretty good. Considering that this is cracked, um, I guess the price didn't really degrade at all. Because seriously, I bought this for 80 bucks. And I sold it cracked for 61 So that's pretty impressive. I don't know how I did that. I'm selling that. And I'm getting a new um, iPad. And this is going to be the Apple iPad 2. Now, I know this is a big downgrade from this iPad. But there is some improvements. Um, first of all, I did get a 64 gigabyte model. This was only 32 gigabytes, And that did was kind of a problem because I couldn't download all the apps that I wanted. <clears throat> And so I was like, I need to get a new one. So um, this one's Apple iPad 2, 64 gigabytes with the charger, and it's in pretty good condition. Um, I got that for $61. So, and I sold my, my iPad mini for $61, so it's not really that big of a deal. You know, I'm not losing any money. Um, but, I, I mean, I technically did lose money here. Um, I got a heavy-duty duty arm armor rugged skin case for a apple ipad second third and fourth generation so um this one i actually already bought a long time ago when i previously got my ipad 2 in 2018 i believe um because i did buy it t for my birthday i got it for my birthday and so i gave i mean um i gave that one away and now i don't have it anymore so now i'm so now I'm switching back to it essentially. So I'm going to be doing a full review on that because um, the the last one that I did um, is pretty bad. If you remember that video that I made on the iPad 2 slash I think 5S or SE review. I don't even remember. It was a really bad video because it was using this 0 0.3 megapixel front, fa front facing camera. But now... Um, what I'm thinking of doing is for um, my OnePlus 7 Pro videos, since I actually finally sold my iPhone XR, I'm just going to be using, I'm going to just be filming on this, which I know it's a really bad camera, but I mean, it's still usable and it won't be too bad of videos because it's still te technically 720p. And I've checked the videos. They're not terrible. It's 0 0.7 megapixels on the back and 0 0.3 on the front. So if I am going to make any OnePlus 7 Pro videos, just do be reminded that they're probably most likely going to be 720p at 30 fps so yeah just letting you know that so yeah and i also got this one this heavy duty armor case before this is so so good i totally recommend this case if there's any like info here don't want to show any of my information okay um yeah you can see really really good like it protects the whole entire casing this is actually kind of a little look at what it actually looks like. This is from my video. You can see how low quality it is. It might not be at the full. No, that's at the full resolution. You can see how terrible that is. But you can see in general kind of what it looks like. Um, let's see if I get, you can see with the screen on. That's what it looks like. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Anyway, guys, that was just a quick video. I also want to thank um, you guys for so, so many views. If we're looking at my recent videos here, yes, for some of these weren't a success, like my April Fool's, you know, my April Fool's video or, you know, this ZTE, this simple ZTE video, but specific ones that you guys really like, which is specifically the OnePlus 7 Pro, got 614 views in one week, which is just insane. Not only that, but um, there were some other ones that were uh, that I got really good views on, which is recently. Um, the Samsung Galaxy A10e got 145 views. It's got 723 views. So 
Thank you guys so much for that. And then the biggest one is um, my full review of the OnePlus 7 Pro. So it seems like you guys really like OnePlus 7 Pro videos. Um, and I'm going to be planning to make one soon. I'm not sure what it's going to be on. Maybe some tips and tricks or something like that. Or, you know, some information about my about my phone. Um, but I will be doing in my next video, whatever that is going to be. Um, I am going to be doing... It's going to be filmed most likely on the iPad 2 just to see how good the camera is. Um, so, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.